Hi, I am Dr. T. S. Anushekar, Chief Interventional Gastroenterologist, Med India Hospital, Chennai. Today, I am going to present Dr. Mori from uh, Tokyo, Japan, who is an international expert in uh, artificial intelligence. Hi, Dr. Mori. Hi, Welcome Dr. T. S. As, it's nice to meet, meet you. And uh, my name is Yuji Mori uh, from Showa University, Japan. I'm associate professor of the Shoah University. And uh, today uh, I'd like to talk about uh, how we use the artificial intelligence in the future and, or currently. So thank you for having me here. What is exactly artificial intelligence? Can you tell us for the layman to understand in simple terms? Yes, uh, if you look at daily life, maybe uh, we, we, we are facing a lot of the AI technologies such as uh, our face recognition system in the smartphone camera or maybe uh, you will use the um, uh, Google Maps which can contain a lot of the AI technologies. I think we are using Google Map and the, the face recognition in the smartphone without knowing that is artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, AI is working always background. Background, so we don't realize that. I think you uh, rightly said that these two important day-to-day -day use we are using. It. How did you get into uh, interest into artificial intelligence? That's a great question. So uh, why I started to research artificial intelligence in the medical field is the, maybe the lack of the expertise in the uh, medical doctors. You know, the uh, very, very limited number of the uh, doctors has expertise in a specific area. I want to overcome these challenging issues by, by deploying the AI technology to the medical devices. How long you have been spending in artificial intelligence in this area? Uh, roughly seven years. So uh, artificial intelligence is useful in day-to-day -day life. And in medicine also, how it is useful? Yeah, actually, uh, in these five years, there are a lot of publications related to AI, AI medicine. Mm -hmm. And maybe one of the most famous ones would be the uh, recognition of the uh, DM retinopathy or the RA detection of the skin cancer. I think that's a very important point because uh, skin cancer, even subtle changes we can make out in artificial intelligence. So what doctors cannot detect the artificial intelligence will help the doctors uh, so that the cancer uh, can be detection can be very high. In diabetic retinopathy, if you don't treat properly, then they will end up in blindness. So, artificial intelligence, you mean to say that you can identify retinopathy in a much early stage itself. Exactly, yes, because of the amount of the learning material, which is usually uh, more than 10,000 people, 10,000 data from 10,000 people or patients. So which is much more than the cases, number of the cases that usual medical doctors acquire during their practice. So that's why AI can work very, very well. But you are a gastroenterologist. Yeah, actually, How would be yeah. useful in, in our field? Artificial intelligence and gastroenterology. Yes, thank you for asking this useful? question. Yeah, actually it's useful, but uh, still it is not widely implemented. It is a uh, research period because uh, there is very limited number of the uh, approved device in this field. But actually I'm endoscopist. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very interested in improve the quality of endoscopy or colonoscopy. Okay. And ultimately, I want to improve the uh, long-term outcome of the prostate cancer screening. So, so it is useful in cancer screening. Exactly, yes. But I do endoscopy, I can easily make out cancer. But how, how artificial intelligence is going to help me? Yeah, that's the point. Usually, we miss a lot of the lesions, especially tiny lesions. Uh, this is uh, due to a human error. So the uh, important role of AI is pick up the, such kind of tiny lesions Mm -hmm. to make the colonoscopy more perfect. So it will be very fast and it can pick up very tiny lesions. There is a limitation for human eye where uh, we can't uh, identify tiny lesions. And even if you want to identify, you need to spend more time and lack of technical expertise, doctor's expertise. So artificial intelligence is going to help us, this is what. So which cancer 
cancer of the stomach or cancer of the large intestine where artificial intelligence is useful yeah that's a great question maybe the first target would be for rectal cancer uh, because uh, because of its prevalence in the western world the model of the paper is number one compared to the gastric cancer detection or esophageal cancer detection and maybe they are following the research on the rectal cancer uh, I think the uh, research on gastro, uh, gastro cancer and esophageal cancer will follow. Is there any data that where the after uh, AI, artificial intelligence introduced, introduction and cancer uh, detection rate has become better and you are help the humanity? Actually, uh, the answer is no. But uh, when it comes to the polyp detection, uh, there is a data from Chinese team uh, which is published in a very you know, famous journal last year. Uh, according to the uh, research, the, a the use of AI increased about 9% uh, in terms of the adenoma detection rate. Adenoma is a neoplastic lesion, which can be a uh, precursor of the cancer. So from this, I come to know that artificial intelligence is useful in day-to-day -day life for face recognition, smartphone, Google Map, and in medicine also for skin cancer detection and diabetic retinopathy in gastroenterology, particularly in endoscopy, they are useful in cancer detection, early detection, tiny lesion. So it is going to help the doctor's community in a large way for uh, non-availability of the technical expertise. This AI will be very useful. And you are in the field for almost a decade. What do you think the future of AI? Yes, that is the most important question because um, some people think the AI is just a gaming, but uh, I don't think it's a game. Our aim of doing such kind of research is to create, to improve the uh, mortality of the cancer uh, patients. Uh, so our ultimate goal is to reduce the cancer deaths because of the missing of the polyps. That is the uh, way we have to go. Thank you, Dr. Morley. Thank you very much. Wonderful uh, information. I hope it will be very useful to the public and AI is going to be the future in endoscopy. I okay? So. Thank you. Thank you.